All right, guys, congratulations. You finally made it through the very first Ajax example. Now we can go ahead and see if this freaking thing works. So it says, enter the food that we would like to order. Well, let's see if they have apples. Um, Sorry, punk, we do not sell no apples. Oh, that's kind of rude, but okay, let's see if I can order any tuna. Of course, they do have tuna. And let's say, let's see if they have a uh, bacon. They don't have any bake on. Once we finish typing it, we do have bacon. All right, this Ajax program and also this food store is freaking awesome. So now let me go ahead and talk you guys through one more time exactly how it was made. The very first thing we did is we just created a very simple interface for the user. Now this interface also linked to the JavaScript file. So here is the interface right here, and this is the only thing that the user is able to see. Now basically what happens is they go ahead and type in something like bacon. Now what happens? Well, it links to the JavaScript file, so in the JavaScript file, the very first thing that the JavaScript file does is it creates this XML HTTP request object. Now what this object does is it allows you to communicate with the server behind the scenes. It's actually a very powerful object. So basically, whenever the user types something, it takes whatever input they typed, in this instance, bacon, and it sends it off to the PHP file. Now the PHP file is just gonna go ahead and check in the store or on the server to say, okay, do we have bacon? And it's gonna send back a message either saying we do or sorry, we don't sell that. And it's gonna send it back to the JavaScript file in the form of an XML document. Now the JavaScript file, again, whenever it gets that message back, what it's gonna do is it's gonna dissect the XML document and it's basically gonna find the message and then set some element on your HTML file equal to that message. So that's basically what's happening behind the scenes. Again, this is what the user sees, and your JavaScript file and your PHP file are gonna constantly talk back and forth. The JavaScript file is gonna send a request, and the PHP is gonna send it back an answer in the form of an XML document, and whenever it gets that answer, it's gonna update your HTML file. So that is how a very simple program in Ajax works. And in the next couple of tutorials, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about security and also show you guys how to build, you know, uh, one of those things from Google where it's like it guesses what you're trying to query. And I also want to show you guys how to validate forms. And I want to do a bunch of other stuff. And also, I should mention this, I'm finally going to be showing you guys how to add the functionality to the website I was talking to you guys about whenever you like a status or you want notifications to show up on the right hand side of your web page and trust me this tutorial series is going to be awesome but for now thank you guys for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video